What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials. Pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. And don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com. Get yourself a copy of Ski Mask Samples Volume 12. Okay. 10 premium compositions, the stems, and the MIDI. That is right. You heard it. And the MIDI. Also, don't forget to stop by your Spotify account. Please follow the Spicy Sundays podcast. You know it's going to be extra spicy this Sunday. Do not miss it. Now, today we're going to be working in the MPC software, MPC One software, um, and or MPC Beat software. I'm sorry. And what I wanted to do first before we got started on that is just want to bring your attention to a new partnership that i have with the homie so 100 you guys that are already in the npc community if you don't know about so 100.com you are sleeping especially you guys that want to do um a lot of standalone um so 100.com is the best place to get um expansions for npc and i'm going to tell you why so 100 doesn't do um these these type of expansions where it's like it, it you know it's a bunch of loops or it's a bunch of uh um you know chord one shot spread out on the pads to where everybody's making the same beat with the expansion what he does is he does multi or, or he does um key groups sampled off of awesome hardware the guy has access to some amazing hardware owns some amazing hardware and him and i came together to create the Wu Pack MPC expansion. This one is 60 multi sampled key groups along with the drum kit that's inspired by drill music. Um, we've added the sequence files to give you previews. So, so like once you're scrolling through these, you can actually hear the sounds in context. Um, you know, we worked together closely on it. He was asking me, uh, you know, cause, because I've been studying drill for a while, you know, like what sounds we should get. He's got like a real Selena on there. He's got a real, he's, he's got a real mellow on there. Um, you know, real profits on here. Um, and, and just strings, bells, pads. And the best thing about his expansions is they run in a way so that it does not destroy your Ram. I mean, you can use, you can use 10, 10 tracks of you know of 10 different instruments not that you would to make a drill beat but if you needed to you could and it would not slow down the project so for you guys that are standalone this is huge um so 100 with two o's dot com but let's get into the tutorial right now so this is this is going to be quick guys um uh, uh this is about drag and drop um for you guys that have the MPC beat software and you're trying to figure it out, uh, you if you have MPC beats, I I'm, I'm pretty sure that you that 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 you have a doll, right? You probably have a doll, and you're trying to think like, yo, like like I would like to get this music into a doll. What's the best way to get into it? My personal workflow, what I do is I'll create something like this. So I've got so I've got two I've got two different sequences. Um, each one of the sequences has has a um, has a bass line and has um, has drums. Now for for my purposes, for me, what I like to do is, is just use drag and drop. If you want to use drag and drop, all you got to do is open up the MPC Beats uh, software, where, whether it's standalone or whether it is. Um, as a VST inside your doll, whichever one works for you, right? Um, I think the advantage of opening up standalone is if you started in a BPM and you and like you didn't remember it, you know, that might be a little bit easier. But all you gotta do is go to is go to a track, right? And what and what drag and drop does is it's going to is it's gonna bounce whatever is on the track. So for example, if if you had like a bunch of sample chops, I would I would just go and you just click on it once and it, it does the export and then you drag it like seriously, like drag and drop right now 
for something for something like your uh, for something like your drum program, okay, where where you have where you have a whole bunch of different sounds on it. If I go if I go and do this, I'm going to have I'm going to have my drum stem come out as as you know as a whole stem. It's going to sound like this. And you don't that's what you <laughs> that's what you don't want. You don't want you don't want all the tracks together, right? You want all the tracks separated so that you can go ahead and, you know, mix them, um, you know, mix them how you see fit, right? So the way that you achieve that is you want to, as you go to, as you go to the track that you have a drum program on, you go to edit, right? Because we're going to be editing a track, right? Get used to this edit menu. It's going to make it so easy for you. So edit, what am I editing? I'm editing a track and what you want to do is explode explode is going to then take each track that's you know that's uh occupied with a sample right it's going to take each track that's occupied with a sample and it's going to create a new track with those with those midi events and then these would be the ones that you would want to click and drag over and then you'll have individual right individual drum stems for for you and if for some reason like you really like the midi that you created in here it don't sleep do not sleep on export midi right you can you know you could drag and drop your midi it'll you know it'll 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 transfer over and you'll see like i have i have different swings on my um on my drums it'll maintain it'll maintain those swings if for whatever reason you wanted to do like some sample replacement or you felt like you needed the MIDI. Maybe there was a VST that wouldn't open in here that you want to like import the chords for. Whatever you have, you have that option. So that is drag and drop inside the MPC Beat software. This is also relevant to the MPC uh, 2.8 software as well. It works in both. So it's a CMP with Craftmaster Productions. Guys, stop by so100.com. So with two O's. Get yourself the Woo Pack expansion especially if you're a standalone producer. Keep it simple, but do not be basic, and we will see you on the next one.